بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين Good evening everybody This is Haytham Sadiq and today I will present my graduation project We were three students at Qatar University in the Department of Civil Engineering and my name is Haytham Adnan Sadiq and my colleagues are Rakan Marwan Amru and Muhammad Salim Taha I am Arabic but I will present this presentation in English and it will be available also in Arabic for your information. This project was supervised by Dr. Khaldun Benihani for the structural part and Dr. Hisham Tawfiq Eid for the foundation and research project and Dr. Ahmed Sanusi for the project management and planning for the project itself. As a start we have designed in this graduation project the pair project which is located in Qatar this is, was a very special project because it was built in the sea and building something in the sea was very important to study the stability of the structure on some uh, man-made islands this building is a 22-story 22 residential floors plus the two car parking floors and the it is open to the water surface and for a very huge wind load um, on the building as a start if you see that this is a man-made island and it was exactly as it's shown in the before lift picture as you can see they filled that water by the sand for around 4.5 meter and there were some 4.5 special before the the the, man, the uh, back filling of the soil it was a seabed deposit so to reach the rock for this layer was around 9 meter uh, uh, in the uh, sand to support your foundation and this will be discussed in the foundation part as you can see we have three main parts in our graduation project the structural foundation and management in the structural we did the design for the ribbed slab system in, 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 in some of the floors flat slab shear walls as vertical member what and that was very important element in our graduation project the columns stairs ramp and bearing goals in the foundation part we did analyzed the different foundation system that may be used in this structure and we show how is it uh, fit to this building or not by doing that procedure for different systems and then we did a detailed design for the piled cap system that is chosen to be uh, done for this project we have some small parts which we also apply the isolated and strip footing design at the end of the foundation part we have uh, participated with Dr. Hisham Tawfiq Eid in the research and it was about the concerns about the design of pile draft on rock and it will be explained in this graduation project presentation in the management part we did a work breakdown structure for the building we did the quantity estimation and we scheduled the project using the Primavera P6 and considering all the relations between the activities starting with the structural analysis and design part the design process for the graduation project was mainly moving with this diagram first we have understand the architectural of the building because we get the architectural and it was a real design architecture with a very complicated details so we spend a lot of time understanding the, uh, this architecture and then we go to the next stage which is the analyzing and designing the floor systems which is the flat slab and the ribbed after that we were able to develop the 3d model for the uh, tower and we use the program of ETAPS after that we checked the 3d model stability using the stresses and the effect on the foundation and the lateral drifts and deflection after we assure that the structure in a mass is adequate to check the stability we go for designing the vertical members for that stability using the design for the shear walls and columns special elements as stairs or 
ramps. After we finish the superstructure design, we went to the substructure design, which is the foundation system, which is, will be the part two of this graduation project presentation. As you can see here, I will move by the steps of the graduation project to know where we are. In the architecture, we have understand the AutoCAD plans, and we were concentrated on the main part that connects the structure with the architecture, which is the columns, sizes, and locations. From the architecture drawings, we can get the design loads, which will be used in the analysis of the slabs. We start to analyze and design the floor system. The first one was the ribbed slab. It was designed with different ribs and different beams. Uh, the ribs were supported by the main beams, and some of the beams were designed for flexure and shear only, and some of them, which are the parameter beams, was designed also for torsion. The floor design cycle was starting by selecting a preliminary beam sizes, analyzing the floor using the safe, and then check the maximum deflection with the allowable, and then confirm the sizes of the beams and go for reinforcement. This is the safe analysis, and this is the ribbed slab system that was used in this floor. This is the general detailing of the ribbed slab. It was designed as 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 a rib as a T-beam. This is a sample of the beam that was an exterior beam which is a flexural to resist flexure, shear and torsion. This is the next slab system which is the flat slab residential system. You can see the strips that we have divided to uh, design the uh, flat slab. Actually we have an irregular shape so we use the safe to analyze the strips. And also bunching shear check we get the critical points and then we check it manually to know if if the slab will be adequate to resist the shear the bunching shear check this is a general detailing of a section of the flat slab also this is the different flat slab which is the basement flat slab which is also have been designed as strips and for positive and negative for the 3d structural system this is the important part we have designed it for wind and the main the main member to resist the wind was the shear walls and this system was mainly used because we have a huge uh, shear walls depending uh, re uh, comparing to the columns so we have neglected the rigidity of the columns and we consider that the rigidity is connected with the diaphragm action to the shear walls only and the columns has been assumed to be a pinned end this assumption is discussable but some of the professors are really agree to assume the concrete which is not detailed in a special detailing has been and if some structures need some special detailing for rigid beam to column connection which I will present it in a different presentation but assuming it's a pin column is more, more conservative 